you might be asking, is any function can be a linear transformation or not? I'm going to give you one example. Here, suppose you are defining a linear transformation this way. You're saying that, hey, that function maps R to R, real line to real line, and it takes any x value to sine of x. So this basically say, hey, t of x is sine x, but is this actually a linear transformation? Is this function, we know this is a function, there is no doubt here, is this function a linear transformation? You might be saying that, hey, I can follow this definition or I can just come up with some values. So think about it this way. Is sine of pi over 2 plus pi over 3 is the same as sine of pi over 2 plus sine of pi over 3? So basically, if this guy is a linear transformation and C is equal to 1, T of U plus V must be equal to T of U plus T of V. So you can sometimes simplify, and instead of going over all the hassle, checking for X and Y, you can just take some random values. It, it's helpful in some scenarios like trick functions. So on the left-hand side, you're basically saying that, hey, I have a sign of 5 pi over 6, which we know is not the same as sine of pi over 2, which is 1, plus sine of pi over 3, which is square root of 3, divided by 2. Well, basically, we just define the function, which is not a linear transformation. So remember these types of examples of a function that are not linear transformation. Another example for you. Consider the following function. See that maps R to R. This function takes any x value and it gives you x squared. So you're basically defining quadratic function. Is this a linear transformation? Is this a linear transformation? Does it take linear combination and gives you linear combination? Check. For example, t of 1 plus 2. Is this equals to t of 1 plus t of 2? t of 3 is 9. Is this guy equals to 1 plus 4, which is 5? Of course not. So another example of a function that is not a linear transformation.